we had an ultrasound on Monday too <laughs> and they found the gender so we want you to open this one right now so to see if it matches inside. <laughs> we're doing two, this one and then this one right now just to double check that it's the right gender. <laughs> okay. But this lady, she found out like that. Yeah, she found out right She's away. Like, oh, I know what it is already. She and I think us, I she, know what it is already. <laughs> If, if they found it like that, then I know what it is. That's what he thinks too, but... It has to be a boy. That's what he thinks That's too. That's what I told her. But I swear, I saw two, like, lips. But I we turned our head when she was looking, I but... told her, because, like, if it's a girl, they'd have to, like, double check. If they don't see anything, they'd have to, like, take a little bit longer <laughs> to look in. Those testicles. That's what I told her. <laughs> but this is it. This kind of peek in there. I think she... <laughs> I think she said there is a post-it note so you don't see through it. Oh. So you might have to see move the post-it note. Oh, I get it. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. So now we're gonna find out again. Oh god. You can have that. Can have that. <laughs> so this is the second ultrasound. Yeah, which this is the final, right? Yep. Wait, wait, wait. So this has to match the okay. other one. This has to match the first one. The first one. <laughs> does it match? <laughs> yes, it does. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So it is what it's supposed it is. to be. <laughs> yeah. Oh. It's a baby. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys. Um. So. Today is a big day. Um, it is Friday, July 23rd, the weekend of our gender reveal party. And I have a big surprise for Josh. And I'm so excited and I can't believe I pulled it off without um, telling him. So, Josh grew up in Texas most of his life and throughout school until his senior year and he hasn't really been back to his hometown of Texas to see his family and friends in a very long time I think like five years and or maybe even six I don't even know it's been a very long time and we um, last year in 2020 had planned to go to either San Antonio or Austin where he's from so last year in 2020 we had at the beginning of the year we were planning like a few trips to to go to a few different places and one of them was to San Antonio or Austin so that he can be back to his hometown and see his family and friends that are there because he hasn't seen them in so long and then obviously uh, the pandemic happened so we actually had to cancel all of our travel plans um, which sucked and then we're like okay well we'll push it back to this year so 2021 and we planned to go either this June or July but then we ended up doing IVF um, and going to Mexico twice and staying there for a whole month so it just never got planned and never worked out so unfortunately he still hasn't been back home and i was like okay well i can bring part of it to him so his best friend uh that he grew up with named jacob is actually flying in today Oh, Josh is pulling in the driver right now. He's actually flying in today and I'm so excited to surprise Josh. Can't wait to get his reaction. So his friend Jacob will be um, flying in today for our gender reveal party. He'll be here this weekend until Monday. So I gotta go. Josh is here, but yes. All right, we are on the way to your surprise. What do you think it is? You have no clue? Not even one clue? No. So we're in his car because we went to pick up all of the 
tables and chairs for our gender reveal and they filled up my the whole back of my car so that's why we had to take his car are you ready yeah i'm as ready as i can be <laughs> okay stella say hi say hi we're in traffic gender reveal day team boy or team girl I'm getting everything ready we got this huge bouncy house oh my gosh the kids will have so much fun <laughs> say hi <laughs> we got all hands on deck we have two loud isn't it <laughs> Oh. Okay, it is the day of our gender review. And stuff is hectic. It's very hectic in our house right now. Um, we tried to do this last night, but we were so busy. Well, we've been trying to do it for the past two days. Yeah. It's just nonstop. Um, but we are going to do this video quick before the party starts. People are starting to get here, but... I have this sign that is the old wife's tales um, that just asks questions of like how your pregnancy has been going so far and then like the old wife's tales are like boy or girl so we're gonna tally them up and see what it ends up what to. it ends up being so what's the first one so the first one is morning sickness if it's no then it's a he. If it's yes, then it's a she. So I did have morning sickness. It wasn't severe, but I did have some. So I'm going to put yes. Okay. So that's for a girl. And then the next one is cravings. Either if you've been craving salty, it's a boy, or if you're craving sweet, it's a girl. I would. And that's definitely <laughs> salty. She been. So that's a boy. Next one is facial complexion. Either glowing or breakout? And breakout. I would say glowing. What? Yeah. You're How cute. many people have told you that you've been glowing? Too? Yes, a lot of people have told me that I'm glowing, but and I've you can't say also that you, have breakouts. But you've always kind of had that problem. I know. So you can't say breakouts. You want me to put glowing? You gotta be glowing. I'm breaking out though. Because you glowing I'm right putting now, breaking out. And they be like, you should get I'm putting you. breakout. You just want it to be a girl. No, uh, really, my face has been breaking out. I just am being honest. Next one is belly shape. It's either <sighs> this one round or wide. It's I round, right? I think it was round, yeah. It's like all right here. Your hips right are getting here. a little wide, but your belly in general is kind of... All right here? Yeah, it's kind of round. Okay, so round means boy. And then... Feel of skin, hands, hands. relax. Oh, no, sorry, dry. dry or silky? They've been dry. Dry? Yeah. Okay. Dry is for boy. Oh my gosh. 
all the boy vibes lately, guys. Mom's emotions, relaxed or moody, and that's definitely moody. <laughs> I even got a question that one. Ooh, moody is for girl. Baby's heart rate, it's either over 140 beats per minute or under 140 beats it's per minute. It's always above 140. It's between 154. Yeah, it's always between like 150 to 157. Yep, so that's definitely a boy. Over 140 means boy. Headaches, yes, is a boy, and no, is a girl. I have been having headaches, and Lately. they don't go away. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Cold feet. Cold feet. Yes, or no. I always wear socks. It's kind of like that breakout thing. So you can't really tell. I'm gonna put no, because no. I haven't noticed the difference. I always, no. Chinese calendar. And the Chinese calendar is like you put in um, your your birth date and then your baby's due date. Stella's in here whining because she hears everyone out there. Um, Chinese calendar says it's a boy. So. Ooh, now, now we add them up. So let's add up the girl, which is one, two, three, four. So you write the number four <laughs> down there. Okay. <laughs> the next one is boy, one, two, three, four, five, and six. <sighs> but these are not always accurate. And then you will see everybody, everybody at the party is wearing. Yes. But who is that? Annie. So we, um are wearing white and then everyone that comes to the party is wearing either blue or pink depending on the gender they think it is so yep all right let's get to the party a lot of blue. yeah a lot of people have boy vibes like my mom is wearing pink but now when she saw my belly she's like oh my gosh i think that's a boy okay we'll see. let's get to the party Okay. <laughs> okay. Let's 
Okay. Five. Five. Four. Four.